knows how to put Welcome back to Horseman Homesteading. Today we are going to make another meatloaf, only this time we're going to use ground turkey. It will turn out fabulous. Any kind of meat you want to use, beef, venison, turkey. If you have buffalo or moose, I would love to get my hands on a pound of buffalo or moose meat to see how that meatloaf tastes because I've never had it. But I don't, I have some ground turkey. So today we're gonna to use ground turkey. I'm gonna do a two pound meatloaf. And my complete seasoning, Bobadia. I use this in a lot of stuff because it has so many different ingredients in it and we love the taste of it. And I've added a little parsley flakes to it just for a little bit of something extra and then oats i use about a half a cup of oats and i'll use three eggs and i will mix all that up together i've got all my ingredients added to my meat i got my oats my seasoning three eggs and i'm just going to mix it all together i'm going to use my fingers it makes you can use a fork or a spoon or whatever, but it's just easier to mix it all together, get it worked in really good with my fingers. You can use breadcrumbs, you can use croutons, you can use crackers, whatever you're binding, what, what you may have on hand. Um, I like oats, so I use that. Some people will add a dash of um, brown sugar to it. I've tried it that way. I don't really like it, so I've never made it again that way. I'm gonna, I don't see my seasoning and being that i'm cajun i like seasoning so i'm gonna add a little more of my bad in my complete seasoning don't be afraid to add whatever kind of seasoning you want you know whatever you got a special flavor that you like don't be afraid of it just add it. Gonna use a regular loaf pan. I've sprayed it with some Pam, just so my meatloaf doesn't stick. Um, ground turkey doesn't have a whole lot of fat in it. It's pretty lean, so there won't be a lot of juices. Um, so, Spraying it will keep it from sticking. I'm gonna put my, fill my loaf pan with my meatloaf. We're going to put this in the oven for an hour on 350. And then we are going to do something a little different with this meatloaf. We are going to put, some people make it with tomato paste or ketchup on top. I've never done that. My mom did it growing up. I didn't really care for it, so I don't do it. So if whoever's eating with us, if they want ketchup on their meatloaf, they're welcome to add it. But I'm going to try something a little different. It's going to be, it's not going to be necessarily a glaze, 
but I'm going to use some jalapeno jelly mixed with some blueberries and a little bit of sugar. And I'm going to um, cook that down just a little bit and a little bit of probably a tablespoon of brown sugar. And I'm going to um, get that warm. And then when the meatloaf comes out after an hour, I'm going to cut a slit in the top and I'm going to pour that glazed blueberry sauce down in the crack. And then I'm going to put it back in the oven and just let it glaze over a little bit while the oven's still hot. 